Oh, it's good to see you out of bed. Aha, uh -huh, I can see you can't get along without me. What are you doing here? Well, I came to collect my wounded warrior, of course. Your wounded warrior is doing all right. I'm in, I'm in good shape. <laughs> You're in good shape, too. Give me a kiss. Mm, thank you. Well, why don't you let me help you uh, pack this bag? All right. I thought you weren't feeling too well. Oh, that was yesterday. I feel much stronger today. You sure? Yes. I took your advice, and I went home, and I got a good night's sleep. You didn't get any color back in your cheeks. Well, I just, uh, I guess I didn't put on as much makeup today. Look, I couldn't let you go home all by yourself. If I needed help, I could get a whole platoon of cops to carry me out of here. Oh, you mean I wouldn't do? Oh, don't be silly. Hmm. I couldn't do any better than you. No, well, all right. Mm. Mm. Now, what else do you have to put back in here? Hmm? Oh, uh, there's another shoe somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe under the bed. I... Jinx, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, honest. I just... You know how it is when you uh, bend down and all the blood rushes to your head? Yeah, you get a rush. Well, sit down. Come on. But you told me you were feeling better today. Well, I am. I, I mean, I was. Look, I, I wanted to come here and, and show you just how much better I was feeling. And I also wanted to make sure you didn't forget your promise about getting married tomorrow. As if I'm going to forget about that. Come on. I made all the arrangements. I've talked to the top, top people at City Hall. Not only do we have the chapel, but they're going to spruce it up for us. Oh, that sounds wonderful. There's going to be so many flowers there, you won't even believe it. It's going to be beautiful. And you're going to be the most beautiful bride. Oh. I love you so much. I love you, honey. But you know, I really, I really don't feel I'm feeling dizzy. Well, here, look. I, uh... Not gonna be using this anymore. Come on, lay down a little bit. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna lie down. If I lie down, I'm afraid I'll never get up again. All right, look. Let's be logical about this. If you're not feeling well, maybe I should get some. Well, no, no, please don't call anybody, please. All right. What are you doing? That reminded me. I've got to call Miles. Tell him about tomorrow. He's gonna be my best man. Yeah, but but please don't ask him to come here. Hi, Mrs. G. This is Derek Mallory. Is Miles there? Uh, yes, he's here. Just a second, please. Uh, Dr. Cavanaugh, it's Chief Mallory. Derek, hello. Miles, listen. I'm getting married tomorrow. You what? You heard me. I'm getting married tomorrow. If you hadn't gone up to Springfield, I wouldn't be giving you such short notice. Oh, listen, that's just great. Is this, uh, just gonna be a strictly private affair, or would you, uh, be able to stand a couple of well-wishers? Well, as a matter of fact, I do need a best man, and Jinx here, she could use a, a matron of honor, if you know anybody. Wait, wait, let me, let me tell Nicole what about is it? this. What's happening? We are invited to a wedding tomorrow. Here, I'll let you talk to the happy bridegroom. Derek! Tomorrow? Where? City Hall. Now, I know that doesn't sound too romantic, but, uh... It'll be nice. You gonna be able to come? That is wonderful. Miles and I both have the day off tomorrow. We'll be there. Oh, great. 11.30? That's great. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Uh, I guess I should call Mike and Nancy. Nicole, listen, uh, Jinx isn't very well. What? No, she's, she's looking very bad right now. Uh, do you think Miles could come over here? I'm at the hospital still. Well, yes, of course. I'm sure he can. She wouldn't let me bring in any doctors here, so... Ask him to hurry, will you please? Yes, of course, Derek. Goodbye. Brag. What? Your dress. Where'd you buy it? None of your business. Oh, I get it. It's hot, right? I beg your pardon? You know, it uh, fell off a hand truck, right? I'll have you know that this dress is a designer original. Yeah? Yeah, well, I uh, thought it looked expensive there. You know some John in the dress business, huh? I don't know anyone named John. Hey, look. Now, don't you get cute with me or I'll rip that there designer original right off your body. <laughs> Will you just eyes. leave me alone? Suit yourself. You know, 
When I'm in the slammer here, I like to talk to somebody. Helps pass the time until my mouthpiece gets here. Where'd they pick you up, honey? Some fancy bar, huh? Some uh, Mickey Mouse fake you out? You might as well stop talking because I don't know what you're talking about. I said, did some police officer pick you up at a fancy bar and flash you his potsy? Oh, my God. I'll have you know that I am not here for prostitution. I am only here for homicide. Oh, well, excuse me. Uh, Raven, okay, hey. we're ready for you. I would like to go someplace and freshen up, please. There's going to be no spectators in this. I just want the judge to know that I'm a lady. <laughs> you look so cheap. Out. Nice, nice setup here, Smiley. Uh, uh, not bad, huh, Johnny? Where do you see the effect it has on Mrs. Raven Whitney? Especially when I sentence her to the electric chair for the rest of your natural days, Mrs. Whitney. Oh, my. You're not going to do that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. This is a preliminary hearing. I'm supposed to decide whether there's reason to hold her for the grand jury. Ah. Hey, you know, I never was to one of these things. How do they work exactly? I'll tell you how this one's going to work. We're going to have three witnesses. First, Calvin Stoner, the arresting officer. Then Raven Whitney will take the stand in her own defense. And then you. Well, why am I last? Well, we're saving the best for last. Ah, good thinking. Then I make my decision. <laughs> What'd I tell you? Oh, wow. What, what, is, what is this? Smiley? Well, I just thought that Gavin and Jody ought to see your little set here. Not bad, huh? No, it's it really is a courtroom, isn't it? Yep. City court. This place used to jump every night. Yeah, it's going to really jump in a couple of minutes here when uh, Raven gets here with her attorney. So if you don't mind, I'd like, to, uh, like you to leave. Not too friendly, is he? Yeah, but uh, I guess he's right. We shouldn't uh, be here when the lady arrives, so That's group, let's just start the park. Calvin, what? <laughs> what? We need you. I mean, I, you're going to testify. <laughs> you got to be kidding. I mean, look, what I did last night was sticking my neck out far enough. I can't be involved anymore. Now, wait a minute now. This is just for laughs now. I... Yeah, well, I uh, I really think I've had enough laughs to last a while. Come on, guys. Let's uh, let these practical jokers enjoy themselves. Hey, Calvin, I... So, hey, hey, Cliff. Hey. Hi, Cliff. Hey. What's all that about? Calvin just decided he doesn't want to play anymore. Well, that's all right. We don't need him. I can do it without him. I'm kind of worried myself, Smiley. I just came from Raven, and she's really shot. Let's, uh, let's get this thing over with and tell her it was a joke, okay? <laughs> what to do, wasn't it? I mean, we already convinced her. She killed Jinx Avery, and we arrested her. She spent the night in jail. What more can we do? Make her think she's going to spend the rest of her life in jail. That's what we can do. Boy, would that be awful to put a beautiful woman like that in jail? Hey, look, enough is enough, all right? She's going half crazy. Look, I, I just wanted to teach her a lesson. I didn't want to torture her. Well, what is this with, with this sympathy with you? I don't believe you. Don't, what, don't you remember what she did to you? Yeah, sure, but I just wanted a little revenge. I thought revenge would be sweet. It's not. Revenge is just... Revenge. Not smiling. Maybe he's right. Look, I, mean, this... I just want to get a little bit more mileage out of this, okay? Well, we've worked a long time. We've gone through a lot How of trouble. How much further what? can we go with this thing, you know? Uh, uh, let's call it quits and just tell her the truth, and maybe she'll get back to theater. I'm telling you no. If you don't tell her, I will. Oh, you're right. You're right. You really are, Cliff. I... <laughs> I was having such a good time with this whole thing. I really wanted to, to last for a little while. But hey, uh, I'll do it your way. You will. Mm. I'll, I'll hand down the decision, and then I'll say April Fool. Huh? <laughs> April <laughs> Fool. Right. Yeah. Okay? That's great. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll uh, go tell uh, Hector to bring in the prisoner. Okay.
No, just one thing about your testimony, Johnny. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, <clears throat> had this written out so it'd be easy for you. I don't want you to read it. I want you to memorize it, okay? I can't see. Well, just do it, John. That's all. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. 